case 26. This is a nodule. There's an epidermis up here. And then a big nodule in the dermis and pushing down into the subcutis. And it looks black or dark purple here. It looks black here on this scan, but in on a light microscope, uh, it would look more purple, very dark purple. It's fragmented and fractured, so calcification. So your first thought at low power would be calcinosis cutis, multiple nodules of fractured calcium uh, in, in the dermis and or subcutis, okay? Uh, and when we look closer, though, In the area. Very tricky in this case because it's pretty focal. But you can see here as this comes into view, gosh, it's a little out of focus. Sometimes calcified things are kind of thicker on the cut, and so it's hard to get them to scan well because they're uh, out of focus a little bit. But here you can see it. These are sheets of dead keratinocytes that are beginning to pick up calcium. Uh, these, are, these are called ghost cells or shadow cells. And this is the classic finding in pilomatrixoma, pilomatricoma, whichever you like. You can use a C or an X. Um, I think pilomatrixoma looks cooler because it's got the X, but pilomatricoma with the C is easier to pronounce for me at least. Um, but do what you like. Uh, in the... Um, these ghost cells here tell me that even though there's tons of calcification, what this is actually is a pilomatrixoma that has extensive calcification and probably some ossification of bone formation. It's very common to get uh, calcification and uh, metaplastic bone or ossification in pilomatrixoma. Um, and sometimes it can be so extensive that it makes it really mimic calcinosis cutis or osteoma cutis. And the way to tell is by finding the ghost cells, the dead keratinocytes or shadow cells. Uh, that are present and it can sometimes be very very focal if you called this you know calcinosis cutis or osteoma cutis though i mean nothing bad would happen to the patient unless they were really worried that there was a systemic problem if it's a solitary nodule it would probably not be the end of the world honestly for it wouldn't be a major treatment or uh, difference for the patient it's benign either way okay but just for testing purposes so you know uh, finding those uh, ghost cells even if they're focal that's the clue to tell you you're dealing with a pilomatricoma with extensive calcification rather than calcinosis cutis. Pilomatricomas are benign hair follicle tumors. I've got lots of other videos about them and other examples showing you more classic findings with extensive blue basaloid cells and mitoses and giant cell reaction. But um, uh, they get more common in kids, but adults can have them too. Uh, but it, this is just an example to show you that they can be extensively calcified and uh, ossified. So here the, with the pink around it, that's probably some bone formation actually making osteoid.